wise men say only fools rush in but I can't help falling in love with What's going on everyone? This is JT Teki. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Seduction where we learn a song on guitar that will help seduce people into falling in love with you. And on this week's episode, we're doing Can't Help Falling in Love with You, the Crazy Rich Asians version by Kina Granis, original song by Elvis Presley. So if you want to learn more songs on guitar that you can sing to, consider subscribing and let's go ahead and level up guitar. First off, I would like to dedicate this video to my beautiful wife. This is for you, babes, all right? If you haven't seen this movie, Crazy Rich Asians, you gotta go see it. It's such an amazing movie. We enjoyed it thoroughly from beginning right till the end. Now let's put the capo onto the second fret. We're gonna go over the chords, strumming pattern, and then combine it all together. Of course, this song, I'm going to primarily be teaching you how to pluck it, but you can also strum the chords if you like. So let's look at the chords, starting with the verse. We've got a C chord. Wise E minor. Men. A minor, say only F, fools, C, rush, G, in, but I, F, G, can't, A minor, help, F, falling in love, C, with G, U, C. So that sequence we just played, we play it one more time and that completes the verse. All right, now let's look at how to pluck the song. Now here's a quick tip. I'm plucking all of the strings in this pattern, okay? First note is going to be one of the bass notes. So depending on what chord you're on, the bass note is either going to be the fifth string or the sixth string. Look at the diagram box here below when I play a chord. If there is an X on the sixth string, which is the low E string, then it means the bass note is going to be the fifth string. Otherwise, if not, the bass note is going to be the sixth string. So the pattern is first the bass note, and then we're gonna play string four, three, two, three, four. And we're gonna do that for every chord, except for one of them, which I'll show you later. So let's play through it, starting with the C chord. Why? Men say one more time. Okay, I'm gonna teach you a really easy trick here. Okay, so when you got the C chord like this, after you play it through the C chord, to play the E minor next, you don't uh, need the fifth string here. So all you gotta do is release all your fingers except for the middle finger, and then start with the sixth string as the bass note and follow the same pattern, okay, which is four, three, two, three, four. And then next is an A minor. So keep your middle finger where it is and then put your index finger and your ring finger where the A minor strings are. Check the diagram box and the bass note is going to be the fifth string. So play the same pattern. For the A minor, we play that uh, pattern twice. Okay, next we got an F. Okay, of course the bass note is a sixth string. Okay, next we got a C, so C, and then G. Of course you know G is like this, but all we need here is really the sixth string, uh, put your ring finger on it, okay, and play the pattern. Let's hear that first sentence once through with the shortcuts that I showed you. Da, 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 da. One more time. And then the next one. But I can't Falling in love with 
you. Okay, so everything we just played there, we play it one more time through and then we actually have a little walk down. Okay, so we're gonna play the C chord three notes. So string five, four, three, and then remove your ring finger and put your middle finger onto the second fret, fifth string, and play the same. Five, four, three. So it sounds like this. And then we get right into the chorus. So in the chorus, we got E minor, B7. So E minor, B7, that sequence, we play it three times, and then we finish it with an E minor. A7, D minor, G. The plucking pattern remains the same, except when you play the D minor, you're gonna play the strings like this. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Let's hear how the chorus goes, starting with the E minor. Do, 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 B7. And it goes right into the next verse, which is played the same way as the other verse. Now here's a quick tip how to play the chorus a little bit more easily, okay? While you're in the E minor like this, okay? Okay, to change it to B7, I'm just gonna keep my middle finger where it is, and then just boom, make it into a B7 like that. See that? And then when I go back to E minor, I release all my fingers and just put my ring finger back to where it was, which is on the second fret, fourth string. Okay, and then into B7 again. Keep your middle finger where it is. Now there's an intro if you wish to play with an intro. It's basically the exact same sequence as the first sentence of the verse, but you end it with a C chord. Want to learn more songs on guitar that you can sing to? Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the like button if this video helped you out at all. And until next time, keep leveling up guitar and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.